Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Today I present you the D-Germ. Believe it or not, this is rarely actually needed, but we'll sell you one anyway. Sanitize your liquids with one of our D-Germ models today. Let's get right into it. And this is all based around a liquid reservoir inside of a chlorine room. Um, it doesn't matter what pressure the chlorine is, and you always need a tank. You can't just run your uh, piping through the the uh, chlorine room it just doesn't work it has to be a tank this is just how it works and uh in this particular instance we're only using one tank and one germ sensor and two liquid shutoffs and this allows this to process about four kilograms well you can see right here at 40 percent well this one's actually at 45 percent and this one's at 44%, so it's actually processing 4.4 kilograms per second of polluted water at, you know, 10 million germs. So this will get you get you done with just one tank. But unfortunately, you're going to need 50 kilos of plastic for the germ sensor. So um, if you don't have plastic, we have an option for you coming up soon. Um, this also works for gas. Here is uh, an, an, an example of a gas a version of this um almost never do you need a gas version of this like if you have slime lung just purify the oxygen it purify the polluted oxygen into oxygen and your slime lung will die off uh if you got zombie spores you got a whole nother host of problems but this would work for that and everything else doesn't doesn't cause a problem in gas like food poisoning gas it doesn't matter they got to eat food poisoning to catch food poisoning well, to have a chance to catch food poisoning. Um, so for the automation on this, very simple automation. We've got this set to zero and 95. Do not set this, leave this at default. Um, if you set this to 100, then this pipe right here will, well, right now it's filling, so it's not flowing, but this will never flow if you completely fill the line. So do not set this to 100. You might be able to get away with 98, 99, I just go with 95, it doesn't really matter. Um, and then the setting for this, this is set to below one germ, so that it only lets through water when there are zero germs in it. It used to have a filter gate in here, but it's not needed. So this is as bare bones as you, you can get. Um, so this will probably handle your standard polluted water vent. You know, you might need a couple more tanks before it, just so that, you know, it can have some capacity but this will do the job this is also a perfect application if you want to purify your toilet water for whatever reason this can easily handle a lot of a lot of duplicate waste uh no problem so here's a nice small option um if you want higher throughput this is our two tank option and i love the two tank option because this is actually a real world application in the real world, an instrument air dryer works like this by cycling back and forth between tanks. And that's how we've applied this here. Technically, you could just set up the automation like, like this one up here and have and, and just do it like this. But unfortunately, that can cause times where it can stop the system. So in this case, I put in an AND gate and it's all controlled off of the first tank. And if the first tank, if the first tank is full, it's gonna flip over to the second tank. And then once the second tank empties, it'll just keep on cycling back and forth. And that's the beauty of this system is this thing will handle eight or more kilograms per second of water or whatever liquid have you, uh, no problem. And, and I love it because it's a beautiful, real world application brought into Oni. Now, if you, this will cost you 100 kilos of plastic for these two sensors up here. So we have an even better model. These are easily, this one's my favorite by far, but uh, we have an even better model. This is the four tank model. The reason why this one is the best is because it requires no plastic, it only requires one valve. It is so easy. You can build this so much earlier in the game than any of the other models, and it just works forever. And this will process 
10 kilograms per second. It just doesn't care. It'll pump it straight on through. And the whole reason for this is it's all based off of these three tanks. These three tanks have to be full in order for this to work because as when a when a pipe load of water comes out of a liquid tank, the it rounds it down. Let me see what you mean. Let me show you what I mean. In here we can see that you've got a million calories or a million germs and they're rapidly fluctuating. That's because the chlorine is killing them and the water is coming in. So it's staying relatively stable. But then you get to the second tank and you can see that the germs are going down and then and it's almost done here in the third in in the second last tank but i tested it you need four tanks to make this to work just period um so there is that um you could probably set this liquid reservoir to whatever you want but i've got it set to 75 25 here um it actually I thought when I built that this, this that it would only work half of the time because I thought that the this tank here would cycle, but this just eats it. It just outflows as long as this is above 75% full. This says go, and this is filling it, so it just works forever. So here is your simplest, most basic form of a water purification chamber you know, and the joy of this is you could actually retrofit this later on into one of these once you've once you've discovered the uh, once you've discovered the germ sensor, you could you could come in here, build a little liquid lock, or leave the liquid lock on, and and turn this into that if you need to steal the space. Oxygen not included usually gives you lots of space, so I highly recommend this model. You build it early on if you need it, and just forget about it. Um. In here I can show you that this is the uh, on the left side here all of them flow up and uh, so the, er, these ones flow up through the tanks so I've got them blueprinted there um, over here I've got them they flow down so I've got that blueprinted there this also you can see here oh oh yeah you can see here I've got milligrams of chlorine in here and it still works the chlorine has absolutely no, well, the amount of the chlorine has absolutely no effect. Um, as long as there's chlorine, it will cause the germs to die. And the amount of the chlorine doesn't affect the rate of death either. It, so you can go with as little as you want. Or over here, I've got 1800 grams of chlorine, which is the maximum you can get in there using bleach stone. Unless you use a liquid trick or something. Um, this is the, uh, the two two tank model flowing down. I also have two versions of this here. Uh, this is the one where it flows left and this one flows right. I've also got a ga gas blueprint attached below. Um, it's not actually this one. This one flows up and the other one, the blueprinted one flows down. I'm not gonna, you're never gonna need this so I'm not gonna put another blueprint up. Um, let's get Abe to build this for us. Um, in here, I'm going to show you the pumpless method for building. Where is? It? All right, get on it. Um, the I'm going to show you the pumpless method for making a uh, a vacuum to fill this with. And of course, I'm going to use our easy standard our easy standard version of a liquid lock. Um, Abe, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Um, everything here is just made out of granite. I'm even, the pipes are made out of granite. I'm not using anything fancy. Everything else, all of the wires and everything are made out of copper. And, uh, yeah, you don't need anything fancy. The, you know, if you use the better models, then yes, you will need, you will definitely need a bit of plastic, but that's it. Just, this is just copper and granite. Um, did I have anything else in here? Oh, um, a little bit of copper ore I used for the, for the, for some component, I think. Can't remember which. 
Abe just went for break, I think. If you're using debug mode and you need something to happen instantly, press Control F4. Boom. Now he's got all the granite he needs to, well, hopefully. Somebody he needs more. Um, yeah, way more. All right, now Control F4 also causes instant build, so um, you want to take that off if you're messing around in debug. Uh, and you might think I'm trolling you by saying Control F4 because that's like a window closer, or it's close to Alt F4, but it is actually that. So now he is... So we're going to layer this all the way up and build it in solid. This is one of the easiest ways to make a vacuum. All right. Feed him along a little bit. I'm gonna build another layer. Get back here, Abe! <laughs> he's up and go! Oh, he's on break. We'll get him when he comes back. So for this liquid lock, all I used is is uh is 200 kilos of brine and 200 kilos of water on top of it so now now that this is built we can hollow this out all right now we can hollow this out you can see this is already a vacuum in here oh i already broke it anyway um we'll get him to mop that up i guess whatever a big deal and I want liquid tanks. Flap them down like that. Oh, I got auto build on. All right, I guess we're done. So there you go. And in here, I've got bleach stone. And just to get to make this work, you need bleach stone in here. So I'm just going to set this to bleach stone. It's a little bit higher priority. And, uh, And boom. And once you have any sort of pressure in there, you can deconstruct this and brick this in and you're done. It's that simple. And this will simply work forever. Now, when you do start this up, I've got the blueprint cut like this for you. Um, so if you build this, it'll be built like this with this line cut. And the reason for this is you want this the first tank has to reach zero germs before this valve turns on. And if you're pumping in a full pipe, this will start to outflow with germs in it. So just wait for the first three tanks to be full. Make sure that the last tank has zero germs and then connect these two wires. Thanks again for your patronage to Tuxi Industries, and please be sure to like and subscribe to stay up to date with our products. We welcome all feedback. If you are interested in more products from Tuxi Industries, or if you want our products to be demonstrated in survival mode, please be sure to sound off in the comments below. We hope you get many faithful cycles out of your teacher. Complaints and refund requests can be mailed to 50,000 Shattered Planet Way. Here are the schematics. The save is linked below. Thanks for watching, and I hope you were informed, entertained, or both. Catch you next time.